Hey Dawson. Yeah. You want to go walking through the woods? Yes. Let's go see what we can find. What's that I feel on my leg? You feel something on your leg? Yeah. Right here. I don't know. What is it? Oh my god, it's a tit! Ah! According to the CDC, Borrelia burgdorferi is the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. Lyme disease is an immunopathological response caused by black-legged ticks, also known as deer ticks, cutting the skin and attaching to the body. The tick is an example of indirect transmission and has to be attached to the human body for at least 24 to 36 hours before spreading the bacteria into the bloodstream. Ticks can be very tiny, making it impossible for people to see or feel. The most common location for ticks to be found are the groin, armpits, and scalp. The life cycle of the black-legged tick is about two years. They go through four stages of life, egg, larva, nymph, and adult. The tick must have a blood source to continue their life, such as animals, birds, and humans. The tick is active through every season of the year. Lyme disease can affect different body systems such as the heart, joints, nervous system, brain, and muscles. 300,000 cases each year are reported to the CDC, but there is an estimated amount of 329,000 cases per year. The bacteria travels through the body after being attached for at least 24 to 48 hours. Through the blood vessels and peripheral nerves is how the bacteria moves into the central nervous system. The mechanism of hematogenous dissemination appears to be a suitable way for the spirochetes to enter the central nervous system. Once inside the nervous system, the bacteria can spread into the nerves, dendrites, and other neurological stems. Once the bacteria is in the body, many systems will be affected. When the body detects the bacteria, it will not be able to attack it. Instead, it will initiate the inflammatory response, which will cause damage to tissues. The damage to tissues will cause inflammatory chemicals to be released. The mast cells and blood will also release more inflammatory chemicals, and as a result, it will cause margination. Margination is a neurophil attaching inside of a blood vessel wall. The next thing that will happen is diapodesis, which is the movement of the neurophil from the blood vessel capillaries to the tissue. The neurophils will then cause chemotaxis, which is the release of chemicals to attract more immune cells and phagocytosis. This process will continue until everything is cleared so that the repairment can happen. Local immune cells, such as monocytes and macrophages, detect the tick and secrete chemokines. The complement system is a biochemical cascade that not only is potentially cytotoxic and causes inflammation, but can also opsonize the pathogen and attract leukocytes. A healthcare provider should be seen if any of these symptoms occur. Healthcare providers will perform tests and provide necessary treatments available if Lyme disease is diagnosed. Blood tests can be done to check for antibodies to the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. The most common test is called ELISA. The enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay is a test that detects and measures the antibodies to certain infectious conditions. It's used to diagnose HIV, Lyme disease, varicella zoster virus, Zika virus and other infectious diseases. Other tests can be done when the infection has spread. It includes the electrocardiogram, echocardiogram, MRI of the brain, and spinal tap, which is a lumbar puncture to examine spinal fluid. The electrocardiogram and echocardiogram are tests to check for irregular heartbeats and heart palpitations. Oral antibiotics are also very common in treating Lyme disease. Most commonly used antibiotics for patients are amoxicillin and doxycycline. 
Patients who are treated in the early stages of Lyme disease with oral antibiotics tend to make a full recovery. According to the CDC, there are many ways to prevent Lyme disease. Avoid direct contact with ticks, walk in the center of trails and avoid grassy, leafy, wooded areas. You can use a tick repellent for skin and clothing. Use products that contain DEET for skin. Use products that contain permethrin on clothing, such as pants, hats, shirts, socks, and boots. If you find a tick on your body, carefully remove it and bathe as soon as possible. To be safe, tumble dry your clothes for about 10 minutes to kill any other ticks that may be left on clothing. Finally, check your body and make sure all clothing and gear are clear of ticks. you know about Lyme disease. Did you know that there used to be a vaccine for Lyme disease, but it was discontinued in 2002 because the demand was insufficient? You may ask, what is the correct way to remove a tick? Step one. Use fine tip tweezers to grasp the tick and get as close to the skin surface as you can. Step two, pull upward and steady while applying even pressure to the tick. Step three, after removing the tick, thoroughly clean the area where the tick was. Step four, dispose of a live tick by submerging it in alcohol or flushing it down the toilet. Always remember to never use old wives' tails when it comes to removing a tick. Do not use petroleum jelly. Do not use fingernail polish. You need to remove the tick as quickly as possible. Don't wait for that tick to detach itself.